Hello everyone, I am Kuldeep Daryani and I love to help people become better in their personal and professional life, especially when it comes to the techno-legal profession related to the construction industry. Dear friends, let's discuss today why we need contract administration. Before we talk about why we need a contract to be administered, let us look into the mistakes we make in construction contracts and how to overcome those. We generally make common mistakes during various stages such as tender stage, during execution, as well as on the completion of a project. Some of these problems are first main focus on performance or execution due to which major contractual issues are not followed up. To overcome this, one need a contracts manager along with a construction manager. Next, blind trust in assurances given by the government authority. In this case, one has to vet and review the assurance fulfillment on a regular basis. Moving on to the next problem, improper document control of contemporary records which leads to delay in finalizing the claims and b securing change of scope orders. The fourth problem is the failure to comply with notice provisions with respect to a delay in giving decisions, b supervision of work by the government authority, c failure to give possession of site, d extension of time for regions beyond the control of the contractor and finally e the contractor's entitlement to suspend or reduce the rate of progress if the payments due are not released by the government authority in time let's move to the fifth problem which is delay in final completion this is detrimental to the issue of taking over or completion certification or lockup of bank guarantee or levy of LD etc. The next problem which deals with the requirement of contract administration is the lack of clarity in base program or cash flow submission or resource deployment detailing. Moving on the problem related to the application for extension of time more often a story method is adopted instead of contemporary records which impacts delay analysis at a later stage. Next issue we have is that a contract is not read or studied in full in the beginning and a strategy is formulated. It is referred to only when the need arises. The ninth one is delay in procurement of machineries and bought out items. The next issue is delay in identifying agencies for soil investigation or specialist work. Eleventh problem which deals with the requirement of contract administration is delay in selection of stone and earth quarry and installation of crushing plants etc. Next is delay in setting up infrastructure for the temporary works at site. Thirteenth, missing the notice of substantial completion and a written undertaking to complete the outstanding works during defect liability period or operation and maintenance period. Finally, missing to submit a statement at completion which is normally called the final bill. Some of the examples to illustrate mistakes or problems at various stages of a contract are first mismatch of drawings and BOQ provisions such as eye girders versus box girders in structures. Second, lack of understanding the importance of certain clauses such as costing of safety requirements in metro projects. Third, contractor himself did not follow the contractual program and followed a different program which creates problems. Next, no proper response to government authorities correspondence. Moving on, more examples are 
site staff is not aware of employers, engineers, and contractors' duties to maintain good relationship with the client. Sixth, due to late mobilization by the contractor, there is a time and cost overrun attributable to the contractor. Seventh, not maintaining the delay work diary as a part of daily works diary. Eighth, failure to notify the independent engineer or authority engineer for change of scope or variations in time. Ninth, not understanding the difference between project milestones and payment milestones. Tenth, failure to serve a stage-wise completion certificate. Finally, key staff such as quantity surveyors and the contract managers being transferred to other new projects before properly addressing the completion of current project. In the following videos, we will elaborate more details on other aspects of contract administration. For more details, please visit our website, Daryanis Engineers and Associates Private Limited.